simple subject and simple predicate. The simple subject is the specific noun that's being talked about in the sentence. And we could only include that specific noun as the simple subject. So the simple subject cannot include adjectives, no words that describe, no words that tell us any other information about that noun. It can only be the specific noun. And we will identify that specific noun in the part of the subject, okay? Okay, the simple predicate. The simple predicate is the specific verb or verb phrase that is being used. No other words can be included in the simple predicate. So remember, if we have one of those linking verbs like is, am, are, has, was, will, have, had, we will identify those as the verb but we must look to the next word to see if there's action. If there is action, we must include the link, the helping verb or linking verb with the action to form the verb phrase. And that verb phrase is the specific verb and will be the simple predicate of your sentence. Okay, so let's divide the sentence in subject and predicate in complete subject and complete predicate, then inside of the subject and inside of the predicate, we will specify what is the simple subject and what is the simple predicate, okay? The sentence reads, the little boy is very hungry. We all know that the word is will always be a verb. The action will begin there, so there's where we divide the sentence. Is and all of this is subject, and all of this is predicate. Complete subject, complete predicate. Now, let's specify and look for the simple predicate to see if there's more information there. So, this could either be a linking verb if it stands alone, or a helping verb if it has action next to it. So, let's see is the next word is very is very an action word no so that means that the verb is 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 the verb and like i told you the verb is the same as the simple predicate so this would be the s p simple predicate is very hungry. Who or what is very hungry? Let's look at this side. The little boy. The rule says that we cannot include adjectives or any other word that is not the specific noun. So we have boy. We do not include sizes, anything that we don't care if he's little, if he's small, if he's tall, if he's skinny, if he's fat, if he's black, if he's brown, if he's Chinese, if he's Mexican. We will not include any other word that is not the specific noun. So, boy is SS, S, which is simple predicate. Okay, let's look at another example of how to divide a sentence in complete subject complete predicate and then inside of the complete subject we will identify the simple subject inside of the complete predicate we'll identify the verb which is the simple predicate remember that verb and simple predicate are the same thing let's look at the example your mother was cooking this morning the first thing we do is always look for the verb and we have was so the predicate always begins with a verb. Okay, was. So we divide the sentence here. This is your subject, complete subject. And this is your complete predicate. Now, either the predicate 
will be was as a linking verb or was included with another action verb and it becomes a helping verb, okay? So what do we have to do? We have to go to the next word to see if there is action. And we will stop when the action stops, right? So let's say, was cooking. Is cooking an action? Yes, it is. Do we stop there? No, we continue to see if there is more action. Okay, was cooking this. Is this an action? No. So the action stops here. So the complete, the, the exact verb of this sentence is was cooking. This is the simple predicate. And we ask ourselves, who or what was cooking? We look here, it says, your mother. Do we care if it's your mother or my mother or whose mother it is? No, we just we just only identify the specific noun which is mother and as we as as simple subject.